Okay everyone, welcome to another Arduino for Me tutorial. Today I'll actually be going over something uh, a lot different from what I've been doing. Um, what I have here in front of me um, are little bits. Uh, so I've got the deluxe kit and I've got the Arduino coding kit. Now, uh, little bits are really neat because they're circuits that you can build without uh, soldering or breadboards or anything like that. They just snap together. Okay, I'm going to show you a basic circuit and then I'll maybe show you some uh, tutorial or I'll show you a little bit of coding. So, basically, you've got three different colors. You've got green, you've got uh, purple, and you've got orange. Now, green is output, purple is input and orange is wires okay so let's set up just a basic circuit here um, there's also another color called uh, power this is power and this is actually where you use the 9 volt battery wire that I've used for my Arduino projects basically we just hook a 9 volt battery up to here uh, flip this switch you see the light comes on so you know you've got power All right. Um, and then we'll hook it up to uh, some other bits. So let's use a button. Take a button. We're going to take a light. And here's how you put them together. You're just going to go up to it. Snaps together like that. And the same here. Snaps together. Alright. Then, whoops. Uh, let's see here. All we gotta do is flip the switch, push this button, and you got a light that turns on. Um, now you can't really see the color too well. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Of course it's off, and then... There you go. So yeah, um, really easy to do, which makes it uh, easier to first make your projects with little bits um, for Arduino and then you can transfer from there to the breadboard uh, so let's go over a little bit uh, a little bit more this is our pulse we've got a, a pulse bit here and basically this is going to send out a pulse through our whole circuit so we're going to connect it up to our power uh, let me tilt this down so you guys can see it a little better. I'm going to move these. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. So, basically, we've got our pulse. We're going to... Let's grab an output. Let's go with... Uh, let's see. We've got a lot of outputs here. I'm just going to basically set these off to the side here. So you guys can take a look at them. There's also, um, in case you're wondering what this output is, this is a light wire. It's pretty long. I think it's like six feet or something like that. It's a really long wire. And the whole wire itself lights up. It's really cool. Uh, I don't have it here because it would be too big for my table, but I've got this, and then the wire just plugs into there. Okay, so we've got a pulse. We've got our power. I'm going to grab a dimmer. And I'm going to hook it up um, before the pulse so that we can change our... Actually, I'm going to put it after the pulse. So we can change the sound of our, of our buzzer here. This is a buzzer. We're going to take our power supply, plug it in. Then we'll power it up. And we're going to gradually increase this just a bit. There we go. See, it gets quieter as I turn this down. But you've got your your pulse sending out pulses there, like like the blink, like what the blink sketch would do if you were using a normal Arduino board. Um, so there's that. Let's... I'm gonna use 
uh, red, green, blue LED. And the cool thing with this is that with all these little, oh man, the lights kind of ruin it for me, but yeah, let's see here. With all those, those three little, um, there we go. Those three screws there, you can actually turn those and change the color of the light. Um, there's letters, there's red, there's R, G, and B for red, green, blue. So you can change the colors of that, which is really cool. Um, I think I've got it on, I've got it on straight green. And you can see that it's just going to keep blinking like that. Turn this off so you guys can see it. Just like that. So, um, yeah, that's our pulse. That's our pulse bit there. Uh, what other, let's see what other inputs we've got here. We've got a timeout. So basically, that's a timer. I think it goes up to like 15 minutes or something like that. This is a sound trigger. Um, these are light sensors. Um, we've got a slider. And these purple ones are all inputs here. And we've got another button. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of different bits here. And I'm not going to go through every one, but I am going to go through a few of them. So let's take our slider. And we'll get rid of these. We're going to take our slider, connect it in there. Uh, we're going to grab, let's see, from our tray, we're going to grab our servo. We're going to hook our servo into this right here. Ugh, if I can get it. Alright. Whoops. Here we go. There we go. That hooks in there. And we'll connect it up. Now, the nice thing with these is that they are polarized, but... Uh, you can't put them in the wrong way. They literally will not attach. See, I'm going the wrong way th with this, and it's it's pushing against me. It doesn't want to attach. So I know I gotta flip it around. And there's some X's here on these. There's like a there's an X. I don't think you can see it, but the X, both of those X's match up. All right. So here's our servo. This will be basically like controlling it with our potentiometer, like we did in a previous Arduino tutorial. So we're going to just slide this up like that. Oops. And there we go. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Alright, so there's your servo. Now, the cool thing with this is that the servo is just like uh, any other servo and when you order a, a kit with the servo in it it'll come with a whole bunch of different attachments you've got like this um, single one here you've got the double sided one you've got this this kind of shape and then you've got this circle one it's um, it's pretty neat I'm not really into using servos in my projects yet but I'm sure I'll be getting into doing stuff with servos um, later on. Um, I then we have let's see what can we do next? We'll do our DC motor. Now you probably won't be able to see this spin as well. Uh, I don't know how it'll look on the camera, but we can do this, and as we go that will start to spin oh yeah you can see that so that's spinning all the way around there and you can reverse its direction by flipping this switch yeah, you can see the switch there but there you go that's the DC motor there's also a thing called a motor mate that will come with your motor I unfortunately lost mine I'm thinking of when I get my next kit I'm hopefully won't lose the next one <laughs> but um, the motor mate just goes on this on this on the DC motor so that you can then plug uh, other things into it like you can put a Lego thing on it and you can do a whole bunch of different stuff like that 
but it, it's set up for using your DC motor in projects. Um, the nice thing is that if you guys live near Radio Shack, I know where I live, I'm just like a few minutes away from Radio Shack, they, uh, they sell little bits in Radio Shack now, which is really nice. Um, alright, so, let's see, we'll go with our bar graph. Bar graph is really cool. Um, take our dimmer, attach our dimmer here, take our bar graph, snap it in, um, and then we'll apply power, and I'll turn off the light so you guys can see this better. When I turn this, one, two, three, four, and five. It lights up like a, a bar graph display. Um, I think you guys can see the bar graph there. It looks really cool. It's, um, the first three, first three are green, and the fourth one is orange, and the last one is red. It's really cool. It's kind of like, ah, uh, you're getting closer to a high level of, I don't know what. But, um, so there's that. And then, uh, I did want to go over the wires. The orange modules. <coughs> there are a lot of these. Uh, in fact, our Arduino bit is orange as well. But, I guess it kind of acts like a wire, but... Um, not sure how that would color coat, but um, these these are wires here, and what we can do is we can take this, which comes with the wire, and we're gonna attach it into the ends. Attach it in here, just like that. Take the other end. Attach. Oops. Attach this in right there. So now you've got your wire. Okay, um, and we can attach over long distances uh, like this. Let's see, I'll plug our... Alright, I'm going to plug our buzzer into one end of the wire. And on the other end, we'll put... Uh, let's do a button. Put a button here. And then we'll put a power bit. I'm going to get these out of here. There we go. So now, when I turn this on, I push the button. Um, yeah, it'll make that buzzing noise. The cool thing is that we can add a whole bunch of these in a line with each other, like this, and this will pulse. When I take my finger off, it stops. Put it down. So yeah, um, that's basically how these little bits work. They are really, really useful um, for prototyping, and they're not too expensive for their for their worth. It's pretty cool. Um, so here, just wanted to go over maybe like one or two more bits. We've got a latch. We've got an inverter. We've also got two forks here. Now the forks are basically self-explanatory. Um, they're nice because you can take your one singular power source. We can then go from there. I'm going to plug it in. Now this whole, all three of those have power instead of taking three different power sources like this. Instead of having three different power sources for three different things, you've now got these three here. Um, and then we're going to attach, let's do a button here. We'll do a button here. And we'll do like, a, let's do a slider. Have a slider here. There we go. And then from here, we can attach. Let's do, probably turn the light off for this. Now that, we've got um, buzzer and we've got our bar graph. Now the bar graph, 
Actually, let's do it this way. So you can see the bar graph effect instead of it just being straight the same color. There we go. Now we're going to power that on and we're going to turn off this light. Now, when we hold this down. Only one power source. Now we got that. We've got this light that can turn on. Push them both at the same time. Turn this one on like this. We can do all of these at the same time. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty useful, especially in Arduino projects uh, where you need that that sort of a branch because you want more. Don't want to use as much power, and you want to have a whole bunch of different. Um, things, a whole bunch of circuits on the same Arduino bit. Uh, that's really useful for that. Okay, so um, so I did the fork. Let's go over the inverter and the. Um, let me put these over here. Let's go over the inverter and the latch. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to stick to this. So, let's go over the latch. We've got a latch here. Okay, we're going to take a button with an LED. Okay, now I wanted to show you what that's like without the latch. Basically, you turn it on, the light turns on, and when you release it, it turns off. Now, with the latch, pull that away. Whoops. You're going to put, right after this input bit, you want the latch and then the output bit. Snap that together. Turn the light off. And now, whoop, <laughs> you're going to need power first. Push that. Whoops. And it stays on. So, then you push it again, it turns off. So now you got a flashlight. So it stays on even when you let go. So that's really useful. Um, and then we've got an inverter. Now, inverter, you know, it's going to invert. It's going to reverse it. So basically, if I turn this on, power's off on this button. There's no power going through. Yet the light is on. Then push this. And now it's off, even though I'm pushing it down. So it inverts it. It switches it. Changes uh, from what I what I um, originally had it doing. Alright, so yeah, those are the basic um, basics of how that works. Now I did want to show you how you can program this and the uh, you, you can program it the same way that you program your regular Arduino bit. But let me show you the Arduino bit itself. The moment we've all been waiting for. Um, all right, so I bought this kit. Actually, I got this kit for my Christmas present. Um, but you got the Arduino coding kit. Open that up, and we've got um. Let's see here. Take this out, these out, and this. There we go. So. A lot of really cool stuff came in this kit. We got our uh, here. Hold on. All right. So, first of all, in this kit, we got these. These are mounting boards. So basically, you can take any circuit that you build, mount it onto here, push it in. There we go. And now, whoops, I'm going to grab one more just to keep it in here. So you're building a really complicated circuit. Uh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. That's better. Just like that. Now they'll stay on the, uh, on the board. You can shake it. It oh, doesn't come off. So that's really nice for mounting your projects, you know, so you won't get a nice spot to put them and can mount them on the walls and stuff like that. I made a bedroom 
alarm clock type thing. Mounted that on the uh, on my door. It was pretty cool. Um, so there's those, and then in your kit you'll also get this. This is the Arduino bit. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's uh, it doesn't look anything like a regular Arduino. Like I said, it's orange, so that'll um, it's a wire. But uh, and then you'll have this cable. Okay. Now this is actually based off of the Leonardo board. This is the so in your IDE you're going to go under Leonardo, and that's what you're going to use as your board type. Okay. We're going to plug this in. Okay. Just like that. Now, Leonardo's uh, are useful because they can actually be used as a keyboard or a mouse. So there's actually a sketch if you go to, I'll have a link in the description, but there's a sketch that you can upload to this board, um, and that will be the, that will take you to the Arduino bit little bits website page and that will have the spot where you can actually make a keyboard out of this it'll have the um, it'll have everything you need for that and it'll have the sketch for that so I'm just gonna show you guys how to program this and um, I'm gonna be programming this with my tablet so you guys can see possibly better move these little bits up here Okay, let me get these out of the way. All right, so here's our tablet. We're gonna just. This is actually this came in a. I got this special wire that came in a charging kit, um, and this will plug into your tablet here, and then you take your USB from the other side of your Arduino board. Take your USB and you plug it into this USB. And then you can actually plug your Arduino board into your tablet and upload your code from your tablet. Now, the Leonardo's work differently than the Uno or any of the other boards. With the Leonardo, there's no power going through this USB cable, plugging into your tablet, computer, or whatever you're using. So, um, you'll have to have a separate power source. Like, I'll be using the power bit. Okay. Now, here's the setup we've got here. Alright, so I'm gonna... You have to use the power bit. So I'm gonna plug this in. Alright. We're gonna turn this on. And you'll see these lights will these lights will blink on here. And I'm just going to turn this off for now. Alright. Now we're going to go to our... I know my screen's a bit bright, so you guys probably can't see much of anything. But I'm going to go to examples. I'm going to go to basics. And then I'm going to go to blink. And this is the basic blink. Um, oh, that's not the blink. Hold on. I'll just grab the blink here. There we go. And here's your basic blink tutorial, or blink sketch. Sorry. So now we're going to upload that to our board. Now, um, before we upload it, I wanted to go over some basic stuff on your board here. There are only six pins on this for now that you need to worry about. These six here okay on the sides there are other ones in the middle but I'll they're a bit more in depth uh, we'll just be going over these for now so basically this is pin zero now you might want to watch carefully because this is this is a kinda important this is zero here and this one is a zero now you would mark that as capital A and then the number zero um, this is capital A1. Now you have to put the capital A um, like you would analog, because these are analog pins. And then this is 1, this is 5, this is 
nine right here now you can switch these between PWM or digital um, or analog so PWM is the same as digital and that's down here and then you switch it up to analog and now that's analog now the difference between digital and analog is analogs are better for tensiometers um, inputs because analogs can read certain value so like thermistors you're gonna go, gonna want to put that in analog because that's a certain set value whereas a button is a button it's gonna be on or it's gonna be off and that's all that digital pins are capable of handling okay so once you've powered your board um, we're gonna upload this sketch now we're gonna go to tools ah, come on <laughs> I'm gonna go to tools and then I'm gonna go to board and Leonardo select Leonardo and then your port will probably be COM5 um, and it'll be in parentheses Arduino Leonardo at least that's what it is on Windows I'm not sure what it is for Mac or Linux but um, so then we're gonna just upload it and you'll notice on your board whoops I'm sorry notice on your board there'll be some pins that will light up there's some lights that will light up just like that there we go and it says done uploading I'm gonna upload it one more time there we go saw the two lights that means it's uploaded successfully okay so now we just put the blink uh, sketch on our board and I told pin 5 to blink so I'm gonna grab a LED here the red green blue LED and I'm gonna put that on pin 5 and you can see it blinks so there we go guys um, that's about it for this tutorial uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you have any suggestions don't for uh, please let me know in the comments and also don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube page I'll see you next time.